So uh, first you should create an account uh, in Blink uh, IoT platform. So after uh, how to create an account, uh, that video I, ha I have already done and uh, the link is uh, given in a description box. After uh, creating an account, so uh, how to go to Blink, I'll show you. Just type Blink in a Google. So click on the first link. So click on login. Uh, after uh, giving your uh, um, mail ID and a password, uh, uh, it will be the blink will be opened like this. So uh, next step is click on template. Click on new template. And here you give the name name. So you can give the name as uh, here I want to control the LED. I'll give the name control LED. Control LED. And choose the hardware as ESP8266. And choose the connection type Wi-Fi. And click if you want to write any description of your project, you will write here. Then click on done. After that, click on data stream. Then click on new data stream. In this, here, uh, since I am controlling LED, uh, so it is a digital output. So click on digital pin. So give the field name digital pin zero. And pin number, you have to mention it. This is the actual GPIO pin. Pin number GPIO two is nothing but a D4, a digital four pin on the node MCU. So if you write here GPIO pin number two, it is nothing but D4 pin of uh, uh, your node MCU. Then pin mode you select. Since uh, this is a LED is a output device, I want to make this pin as a output pin. So select the pin as output mode. After that, click on create. Now click on web dashboard. So he, here I'll get so many visit box, visits. So since I want a switch, drag the switch, drag and drop here at the top left corner, drag and left side. So just to, uh, drag it on the left side of the Blink IoT console on an empty space, you drop drag and drop so this is to create a visit so that is switch so click on settings of the visit give the title either switch this is optional so I'll let it be switch title so any name you can give here choose the data stream as digital pin, then on value one. If you type one, uh, on uh, it becomes on zero means off value. So then save. Then again save on the top right of the display. This is very important. Okay. So after doing this, go to search bar, then click on new device, From click on from template, choose 
uh, here template from template you choose the template what you given your in the beginning we gave the template name as control led you choose it and device name also you gave control led you choose it then you click on create after creation some code will be generated here you copy this code completely control c copy this and go to your arduino id software and paste it paste this code copied code on the top most uh, of your program and then upload the program so now i'll do it i have copied now now i'll go to arduino ide software now i am cop pasting the copied program here yes i pasted you just check it uh, the template id is tmp last is sea is it correct or not we will check it the last uh, number is uh, tmp sea the same uh, code i have copied into the uh, arduino id software so after copying the uh, uh, generated code uh, into the arduino id software on the top uh, most of the program then upload the program so now i will upload the program choose the uh, correct port the correct port i have taken is com3 and select the port then upload the program now the program is getting uploaded so after uh, first it will compile and then it uploads the program to your node mcu it takes few seconds of time to uh, time for uploading so let us wait now it is uploading you can check it on the uh, uh, screen so in terms of percentage it is uploading after 100% upload uploading done no 100% uploading is done just click on serial monitor Uh, you should uh, install blink iot uh, from your play store after after installation uh, blink iot app uh, looks like this so click on this then you have to log in with the same uh, login uh, where you have done uh, uh, web dashboard the same uh, login id and password you should use for mobile also so click on login so here you type your mail id after typing your mail id and uh, password you click on login okay now close this so the the name given in your web dashboard is node mcu so it is also appearing like this click on node mcu so click on this button click on the developer tool click on d2 button select the data stream 
the data stream is LED1 we have given in the web dashboard same thing you select and go back and here on off values you can select and select the button as switch and go back go back now you can turn on and turn off LED now I'll turn on the button switch so here LED is turned on okay now I'll turn off so it takes few seconds to turn off in this way using mobile you can control your LED uh, from web dashboard also you can control LED now I'll click the LED one on web dashboard now I'll turn on LED using your web dashboard just click on this see here it in mobile it is showing on and you will get LED also on 